Chapter 1 Soaring into Space Friends, you have heard about the astronauts Rakesh Sharma, Kalpana Chavla and Sunita Williams. Let us learn about the space technology and its applications developed by man. Space Launch To send an object from Earth into space, it is necessary to move it beyond the gravitational limits of the Earth. The technology used for sending an object beyond Earth's gravitational limits is known as space launch technology. While doing so, at most care is taken regarding the extent to which a thing is to be taken into space, the energy required for the purpose and the guiding systems that take the object to the desired location. Rockets are used for launching things in the space. Man-made satellites and spacecrafts are launched beyond the Earth's gravitation with the help of rockets. Figure 1.1 shows a rocket and mounted on it a spacecraft that is to be launched. Uses of Space Technology Man has achieved many things with the help of space technology. The utility of this revolutionary technology can be seen from the examples given below. It is only because of this technology that man has been able to move beyond the gravitational pull of the earth and enter the outer space. Spacecrafts and space laboratories help us study the different celestial bodies in the solar system directly or indirectly. Through this, we have been able to obtain information about the atmosphere, solar energy, space, extent of the universe, etc. Using space technology, we send different types of man-made satellites into space. These perform different tasks and benefit us in a variety of ways. For example, A. We can watch a sports event going on anywhere in the world. B. We can survey natural resources and get information about the forests, minerals, and other resources in the region. C. Satellites help in planning the development of a region. They also help in the strategic planning of defense operations. D. We can contact persons who are thousands of kilometers away using telephones or mobile phones. E. We can obtain information about the changes in the atmosphere, storms, crop conditions, reservoirs, pollution, etc. Remote Sensing Collecting information about a region without establishing any physical contact with it is called remote sensing. Through satellites, we can get images of the Earth's surface from space. In this technique, a portion of the spectrum of light from visible to infrared is utilized. This facilitates the study of a region from different aspects and helps us to plan for its development. Communication The use of advanced means of communication such as television channels, radio, telephone, mobile phone, fax and internet has brought the world closer. The credit for this goes largely to communication satellites. Global Positioning System, GPS The technique used for determining the exact position of a place on the surface of Earth is called Global Positioning System, GPS. For this, a particular instrument is used which connects to different satellites orbiting in space. Through this, the position of a place is fixed with reference to latitudes and longitudes. It also facilitates the measurement of altitude. Preparing and updating maps has become easier through this technique. Space Research in India India is one of the few countries which have achieved the skills of space launching and designing of man-made satellites. Space research in India began under the leadership of Dr. Homi Bhava and Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. 
The first rocket was launched in space from Thumba in 1969. The space launching station at Sri Harikota on the eastern coast of India was established in 1971. From here, India has carried out a number of space launch programs. On 28th April 2008, India made a record of simultaneously launching 10 satellites mounted on the PSLV C9 rocket. India has successfully launched Chandrayaan on 14th November 2008. Figure 1.2 shows some of the space research centers in India. Space Pollution Man has launched a large number of satellites, spacecrafts and space laboratories to date. Most of these satellites and laboratories keep revolving in space around the Earth. They become a part of space debris once the mission is completed. They may contain harmful and poisonous chemicals and gases. This debris in space leads to space pollution. The amount of such garbage is increasing day by day. If a part of this garbage comes closer to the gravitational field of the earth, there is a risk of these articles falling onto the surface of the earth. The harmful chemicals and explosives in them can be dangerous to the life on the earth. For example, Skylab, the space laboratory, had fallen on the surface of the earth in 1979. Collusion of two satellites had occurred in February 2009.